Welcome back, Exiles. My name is Cyclone9. Today we're talking about something real important in Path of Exile 2. We're going to be talking about loot filters. Today is the day to up your game when it comes to loot. So, our dear friend Neversync from Filter Blade has released his own loot filter. So, he's done the heavy lifting for us. Today, I'm going to show you how to install it. But the main things I want to highlight are why you'd want to install it. So currently the loot filter, it doesn't actually hide any of the items. That's not the main thing about it, but what it does is it highlights the important ones that you're going to want to be picking up. And then my favorite thing about it is that there's a sound associated with any good drop. Allow me to demonstrate. So you drop a unique, boom. Highlights the unique, plays a beautiful sound. You drop a valuable currency item. Boom. Big, highlighted in gold, and you hear the sound. Now, this is my favorite sound, and it's become iconic because of Path of Exile 1. This is a sound you want to be hearing over and over again when you're mapping or running any area of the game. That's so sweet. Let's play it again. Can't get enough of that. So, that's the sound you're going to be wanting to hear. The other cool thing about this filter is it'll highlight items that you can salvage too. So anything with a socket, anything with superior quality. So you're getting those additional currency items by picking up and salvaging items that you find. So let's get straight into it. First thing you're going to want to do is download the filter. So the website is on the screen. Don't worry, I'm not going to make you type it out letter for letter. It will be posted in the description of the video, so you can just click on it there. Next up, once you come to that website, you're going to download it. So here's what it looks like. Neversync, amazing member of the PoE community, been around forever, created filter, filter blade, etc. Tested, tried, true, good stuff. All right, so down here, you're going to go get the source code. I already have done that. It's a zip file. So you download the zip file, you unzip it, and then you come right back into your game and you go like this you go to your options you go to your filter section game item filter all right so here we go in the game tab of your settings if you can come down here to the general area where it says item filter if you click on this little folder it's actually going to show you the folder where you need to put that filter um, if you paste the filter itself the dot filter file in this folder, which I'm going to do right now. One moment, please. Because I just got the new one. I got I had 1.1 before, but now I'm putting in 1.2. So I am excited about that. Let's click on this again. I got it copied. I'm going to paste it here. Boom. I'm replacing the file in that destination. I'm going to refresh. So once you have it pasted there, you're going to hit the refresh button. And then you're going to go to the drop down menu and you're going to select it. Once you're done with that, you're going to hit save, you're going to hit close, and then you're going to test it out. Boom. There you have it. You have successfully installed your first loot filter. So if you're a brave soul, you can actually open up the dot filter file and open it up in notepad, notepad plus plus, whatever you choose to use. And you can see what's actually written there. So you can go reverse engineer it and do your own edits. And maybe I'll make a more in-depth video about how to create your own loop filter, maybe starting with this as your default and then modifying it as you need. But that's a little more advanced, so we're going to keep it simple. This is a fantastic filter to start with. Neversync's going to continue to develop more, I'm sure of it. It's kind of what he does. He'll probably develop a, a tool that allows us to easily modify filters in the future. But for now, just use his version 0.1.2, install it, Select it as your filter, hit save, and you're good to go. So I really hope this was helpful. If you guys have any questions, you can always come back and hang out with me on stream. I'm streaming often on YouTube and on Twitch at Cyclone9. So come say hi. We do exercise challenges after lap completion. So if you want to get fit with me while gaming, put in that physical activity. It's going to make you feel better in your body while you're spending 10 hours a day gaming on the weekend or whatever. After work, come join me for a stream. I'd love to have you. I'm happy to help you with your build. You can ask any questions about mine or the game in general. And I'm always here to help. So this has been Cyclone9 signing off. Enjoy grind.